Hey, what's going on guys? It's Stubbs here. Welcome back to another episode of pretty much me explaining to you guys what stuff does in GT5. I don't know if I actually call that series that, but anyway, welcome to the transmission episode. This is where I'm going to be explaining to you guys how the transmission works in this game. Like if you have the tra standard transmission, the close ratio transmission, and you have the fully customizable, and pretty much what the gear ratios do uh, when you change them. So uh, this is probably one of the easiest ones to explain because as I said, it's just easy to explain because it's a very easy thing to understand. Um, the drivetrain and suspension was a little bit more difficult because there's a lot more components, but since this is just a transmission and you are able to change the gear ratios, um, you know you can uh, you can pretty much just tell from what I'm doing here. So basically, uh, I'm in the speed test track right now, um, special stage route X, and then I am going to be doing a few tests so you can see the difference between. Uh, standard transmission, six speed close ratio, and then the fully customizable transmission and how that works. So basically the standard transmission is obviously the transmission you already have in a car. It's it's the one that you get stock. So I'll do like a run here and uh, mess around with this. Uh, by the way, the, where it says latest result, that's from a different car. It isn't from, from this. This is completely stock. Uh, I won't be able to get 10 seconds in a, in, a, in a quarter mile. But I'll show you guys now with the standard transmission. Um, I'll show you guys how it shifts. I'll show you guys um, how this drives. Actually, to be honest, it'll be a lot easier if I put this in automatic since then it'll have, you know, consistency between all the gears and stuff like that uh, and, like, I don't mess up or anything. So let's go into this and change it to automatic. Everything is off, everything is, you know, stock the way it is because I haven't changed anything on this except for the suspension which I've put back to stock again just for the for the sake of the video and stuff like that. So, I will just fully accelerate and start off like that and you can see that's the stock transmission that you have here and that's how it rides you can see up to about just before 300 meters it changed into fourth gear just after 600 meters it changed into fifth gear and there you go right very simple just the car accelerating changing gears by itself but you've seen where it actually changes gear um, so if you go and get the six speed close ratio transmission it'll obviously change gears faster because the the ratio between the gears is shortened but that also means that the the max speed is actually brought down as well if you guys didn't know that like the um, you won't be able to have such a high max speed because the um, the close ratio transmissions um, have brought this down to about 234 kilometers an hour as you can see here so um, I'll take it again out on the track and see how it changes gear now uh, compared to the normal one and basically the only difference that that did is shorten the, the, the gear ratios between first and second you know second and third, third and fourth, fifth, uh, fourth and fifth and stuff like that so again fully accelerate see how fast it changes gear now how fast it, it goes up the revs even though it's not going much faster in uh, in speed, well, it obviously is because you can see I'm going faster than the one up top. But like I'm already just at 400 meters and I've already changed into fifth gear, so the gear ratios have been shortened, and so has the max speed has have, have been brought down, and uh, I'm already in sixth gear and I'm finished the the race, right? So that's very very easy to understand, and I'll show you guys how that works um, now once I buy the fully customizable suspension, and uh, so you guys can see what that is like and how that uh, shortening and lengthening the the gears between themselves and stuff like that so if I go and buy the fully customizable transmission right um, you can't I can't really tell you like a setup to use on this car because this is you know they're all different every single one of the cars is different so if I return this to stock uh, okay this is stock Um so as you can see they all have ratios between the gears and uh, so um, basically if you now put this all the way to the left like if you move it to the left it basically makes the gear longer like if you start off in first gear and I'll just show you guys in first gear okay it doesn't really make a difference and uh, I'll do second gear as well just so just for demonstration purposes but if I take this out on the track first and second gear will be very very long and then third four fifth and six would be kind of short right and uh, you'll see now what I'm talking about when I take it out on the track so Right now, as soon as I set off, it should go. Right? Watch. 
Okay, it's the other way around. Never mind. I, I lengthened the gears. I didn't shorten the gears. Wow, I'm stupid. But um, see the way where it started off in first gear, and it went all the way down. Right. Once it changes gear, it goes all the way to 5,500 RPM. Then when it changes gear and it goes in third gear, it changes at 6,000 like 200, 6,300 RPM. So now every gear change is up past 6,000 RPM. So it's basically just lengthening the gears, to be honest, and that's about it. Um, that means that you can have more power in those gears, but you'd be have you'd have to go up slower in that power because your gears are much longer. I don't I don't know if you guys understand that, but um, usually when you see me put like a setup on a on a drift car, it, which isn't technically correct, what I'm doing when I when I add the the transmission settings to my. Uh, to my drift cars but uh, basically what I do is I have the car the way it is right with with these gears um, this is basically the same as the uh, close ratio transmission right so it's pretty much the exact same setup as you have up there but what I do here is I mess around with the max speed which as you can see up at the top of the screen it already adjusts all of the gears you know like it's already in close ratio and transmission but it adjusts all of the gears itself, you know, you don't have to go individually to every single gear and adjust it. So if I bring this up to about 250, which is what I usually do, it's still pretty close ratio. So like every single one of them is pretty, uh, you know, close to the six speed close ratio transmission. See, it's it's just brought up the top speed from 234 to 254 um, uh, kilometers an hour or 255. So that's pretty much all that does. Um, so that kind of helps hopefully um, what you should do on a drift car is have either third gear or fourth gear depending on what course you ride on um, having it a little bit extended because that's the one that you are uh, you know going to be drifting through the corners like and like I know how to set up a proper drift car but since I learned how to drift with a stock car from the beginning um, I like having a, a, a normal style gearbox like I don't have um, I don't like you know tuning my cars for drifting uh, specifically just for drifting if you guys understand that um, and then there's a completely other d different story to to drag tuning for for your transmission and uh, you have to flip the transmission and do all that stuff which I'm not gonna go into this video because that's not why I'm here but hopefully you guys have enjoyed this video hopefully my transmission settings um, you know explanation helped and uh, that's about it for me so again as I said hopefully you guys have enjoyed this video uh, if you want to check out the two previous videos which I have um, you know, explained the drivetrain and the suspension. Links will be down in the description box below. And uh, that's about it. Thank you for watching, and I will see you guys later. Bye.